Hey guys, Blake here from Into Mobile again, and today we're going to look at the new Nexus 7. So Google just announced this uh, a couple days ago at the first keynote of the Google I.O., and this is the tablet that many people have been waiting for, and it's also the tablet that we were expecting. So this isn't the tablet that is going to kill the iPad, and I don't, and not many people think that Google was really even trying to go kill the iPad. But, um, a lot of people have been uh, skeptical um, whether or not that people want a 7-inch tablet. And personally, I, I prefer the, um, the size to a 10-inch tablet. Uh, I, like, I love the portability, and that's exactly what Google was going for. Um, they're also going for, um, they really want you to consume a lot of content on this. They also say that it's, a, it's made for Google Play, so of course, when you unlock the device, actually move some things around. But there's a lot of essentially ads, um, you know, suggestions on what you might want to buy on the Google Play Store. So, you know, it, it's, it's, um, it's an interesting way to discover new, new content for Google Play, um, but it might be a little much for some people, but then luckily you can easily just remove everything. You know, they introduced um, TV shows and... Um, what else did they introduce? Um, TV shows and magazines with uh, Jelly Bean. Um, so that's that's pretty nice. Uh, but we're also, we're actually just going to be focusing mostly on the hardware on this video. So let's uh, jump into it. Um, as you can notice, this is not a 9.7 or 10.1 inch display. This is a 7 inch um, display. It's very nice and crisp. It's, um, the resolution is 1280 by 800. Um, so it's nice and you know, an and HD display, pretty much the standard, um, the standard resolution for most Android tablets today. So it's nothing, you know, over the top. It's very nice and simple. You're not expecting um, gold here, but we're not complaining one bit about it. Um, on, the, on the top right here, we also have a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera, as well as what I'm going to assume is a, an ambient light sensor. Um, but that's pretty much about it when it comes to... Uh, what's on the front, I mean, it is just a, a slate, so, I mean, you don't really need um, buttons anymore. You don't need the capacitive buttons for ice cream sandwich or jelly bean, so they're all software-based. So it's nice and clean, especially when you turn it off, with, with the exception of uh, the expected fingerprint. All right, and um, let's go over to the side here. We have a volume rocker, as well as a the power lock switch right here. Make sure you can see that. And... Let's go to the bottom right here. We have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the micro USB port for charging. And let's go over here. What do we have? We have the um, the four four pin four pins for what we're gonna hope is going to be uh, released. A oh, let's make sure that focuses. Hmm. There we go. Um, we're going to assume that this is for a dock that has yet to be announced yet, so hopefully that'll be released in the Google Play Store um, sometime soon. And actually, if you notice right here, there's a, a microphone. Nope, you can't. It's probably not focusing right. There you go. There's a microphone, likely for noise cancel um, cancellation, as well as another one right here. Um, but pretty much that is all all that you're going to get on the um, as far as... Uh, physical buttons, and we actually like it. We like the minimalist look, and you know they only left the essentials. Um, one thing that I'm, my only quirk about this is that probably taking a screenshot is not going to be as easy as the Galaxy Nexus, since we have the the volume rocker right here and the power button right here. So to do a screenshot, it's easy enough as holding in a natural, a natural way just like that. To do it on the tablet, you have to you know, kind of get get enough, you know, get some uh, strength and leverage right over here and then hold hold down. And that's to say that it works. Or you, I guess you can do it like this. There you go. You know, it's not shouldn't be a deal breaker, but it's, you know, it's not as easy as you would um, on the Galaxy Nexus. And, you know, I think we're talking a couple more inches of screen here. Um, still, we do kind of wish that at least one of those buttons were um, on the left side. Uh, and let's, how about we go to the back, because that's the only thing we haven't really seen yet, and yeah, there's, there's not much. Um, the, the, the finish on his, uh, on the back is actually, it's pretty nice, it provides a nice little grip, but it is smooth to the touch. Um, you also, also have, like, basically the, 
you know, etched in Nexus logo as well as the Asus logo at the bottom. Um, and also, the back has an entire um, kind of like perforated look throughout, and it's um, it does feel good in the hand. It's you know, as far as one-handed operations, you, it does fit in the hand pretty relatively easily, and you know, it's easy to just kind of like cruise throughout everything, um, your apps and widgets and everything like that, and obviously since they did release the uh, Nexus Q, this can be a nice uh, companion uh, remote whenever you are at home. So, you, you saw the external hardware, so the internal hardware is pretty awesome considering the price and the and the size of a tablet. I mean, we, we've seen some powerful 7-inch tablets before, but for the price point that we have, this $200 price point, um, we're really excited to see what Google has thrown in here. And you know, probably the, the, best, the best feature that we were expecting and glad that it stuck with it, it, was, it has the NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core processor in it. Um, it's a very fast processor, and we're glad to see it's made its way into this tablet. There are rumors that you know Google probably uh, were gonna was going to scrap it um, for a you know a lower cost dual core processor, and we're glad we didn't. Um, and just the fact that it has the Tegra 3 processor means that we also have access to the Tegra 3, um, the Tegra 3 store, um, the Tegra Zone application store. So you can get most of these um, most of these applications within the Google Play Store, but this um, the Tegra Tegra 3, uh, the Tegra Zone um, application will just showcase um, showcase some of the best applications that you can get that can utilize the power of this processor. So definitely a good um, good feature about that. But that's that's still software. We're gonna continue with the hardware. Uh, we also have a 4,325 milliamp battery inside this. So um, they're saying that this can give you about nine hours of HD video playback or you know, 10 hours of web browsing, um, you know, 10 hours of ebook reading, and then 300 hours of standby because that's that's what you want to use the tablet for. Um, all right. So also one of the um, a really good point um, feature is how light this thing is. It's only about 340 grams, so it's it's actually very light. You can hold just a couple of fingers without you know just anything anything going on. But you know, obviously, it's a nice piece of hardware. You don't want to drop it. But what else do we have here? Right around this area, we have an NFC chip, which means that you can beam other um, beam links um, and other things to other NFC-enabled devices. If both if both handsets uh, or if both devices are running Android 4.1, then you can beam pictures and videos connected through a it's a initiated NFC initiated to connecting to Bluetooth, and so that's definitely nice. Um, we also have you know the the regular accelerometer, GPS, uh, gyroscope, you know, like all the good stuff that you would expect in any high-end um, Android phone or tablet, so, and this has them all. And best of all, it has them all for a pretty awesome price point. So um, that's just a quick look at the the hardware side and the um, of the Google Nexus 7. It's definitely something you want to look at if you're considering a um, a 7-inch tablet, and we would highly suggest this against uh, the the uh, the Kindle Fire. But all right, so I just wanted to um, say thank you for watching, and we will have more on the Nexus Seven, including a more of a in-depth review of Jelly Bean on the tablet and the phone, um, coming to you soon. All right, take care.